stuff for the cleanup path. I actually probably had four passes in here because I did an extra one on camera. Just coming back to the camera. What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenley here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service in beautiful South Georgia. Hey, I hope y'all having a great day. Got the new 2023 Hustler Super Z with the 35 horse Kawasaki FX1000 on it, carbureted. And uh, got it out here in my backyard. Uh, last week, I did a video back here on the V-Ride. Uh, get some really good growth back here. Uh, again, I'm going to show y'all. I've already made two passes through here. They're pretty clean, too. That's a pretty clean pass right there. Uh, just to get an idea, you know, what we cutting off, uh, probably, you know, around four inches or so. Um, you know, three to four. It varies. And again, I got... Uh, there's a little bit of Bermuda back here, I think. Uh, there's some, uh, obviously, Bahia. <laughs> uh, there's some centipede. Uh, you know, and you can see right here, we are uh, cutting it at uh, like three and a quarter inches. And so, just going to run over it. And uh, one of the things I have noticed already, uh, I don't hear any bog in the engine going across it. So, probably do what we did last time. Uh, make just one initial pass across it, kind of take a look at it, and uh, then come back with a cleanup pass. So uh, I am gonna do that in real time.
right and that's what we're left with that is after uh two passes uh you know i'll probably go over i'll probably go over that again uh just to clean it up a little bit but again for taking off four inches and uh, this grass is again it's on the drain field uh so it's got moisture in it it's it's wet uh it's always wet you know if you uh just throw it up it doesn't come apart it just it just clumps up so uh if that was dry if that went over a drain field uh that would be spread out really good and uh so i don't know it's uh you know it versus the v-ride uh, i ended up going over it three times with a v-ride last time before i was finished so this is probably you know fairly close fairly comparable uh but what i did notice uh there was no bog uh the engine the engine just pumps through it now i will say this <laughs> you know i said i wasn't worried about fuel economy i got this with 0.2 hours it's got 2.3 hours on it and uh the first tank is already down to an eighth now that may be one of them deals where it holds a bunch of fuel in the bottom because these gauges are certainly not always right if you look at this tank uh the way it's made it's high here and then it drops to where the gauge is at uh you know i don't i don't know I don't know how they compensate for that difference, but uh, it's definitely down on the hump in there. So we may only get uh, we only may only get four hours of cutting out of it. Whereas uh, with the 27 horse on the uh, X1, you know we probably can cut seven hours so that will be a considerable difference if that is the case so we'll just have to see but uh anyway i'm gonna finish this up and then i'll show you some after footage all right here we go it's after the cleanup pass i actually probably had four passes in here because i did an extra one on camera just coming back to the camera over here is only two passes this grass was taller but it's not as thick and, it, and it's not the grain field so not as wet disperses a lot better all right let me get this gate closed get this turned off and i'll check back for y'all all right so uh not bad at all i definitely like that horsepower man i like that horsepower i ain't already tell you that i may not like the fuel economy but like i said before if you want if you want power, uh, sometimes you got to sacrifice something, you know. And if you get power, you're usually going to sacrifice fuel economy. And again, I, I realize that you go to EFI, uh, you know, they do better. But not having anybody close around that's going to work on the EFI. Uh, and I know for some guys, you say an hour away, that's, that's not far, or an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, and it might not be far for you but it's far for me uh by the time i run you know like i said before when i run an hour and 15 minutes hour and 15 back that's two and a half other little things you might well say three hours per trip that's six hours to take it up there drop it off go back and get it that's a day of work man almost and uh i ain't wanting to waste no whole day turn that off i ain't wanting to waste no whole day getting a more looked at uh not when i can drop it off in town and even if i had to leave from my house and go to the dealer i got you know you 15 minutes so anyway uh double o three and i went out and did a look we did some work down at the house and he go down there and show y'all the house but i'll just say that for another video um so oh i need to yeah, I didn't get to show y'all my yard out here, man. I don't know how well y'all can see that. I didn't take a picture of it out there. Anyway, it's on them South Georgia Bahia stripes, man. Uh, anyway, it's 2 o'clock now. It's Saturday. And uh, this video is going to go up on Sunday. But 
I think I have done enough work outside for right now. I got some maintenance stuff I need to do, but I'm really just not feeling it today, man. I'm not, so uh, probably not gonna get to it today. And that'll be all right. I'll have to do it Monday, so. Anyway, that's what we got going on. Appreciate you taking time to watch the video. If you got any questions about the uh, new Super Z, uh, just drop them down in the comments. Love to hear from you. Love to hear from y'all. My prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you and that you might see all of your blessings as from him. Hope you have a great day.